Hi everyone, let's quickly get into it. On the left, we're dining Dilo, so that's cool. But on the right, I'm giving an example of hidden spawns because some people were confused about them. So as you can see, out of nowhere, Pro C and Para appeared in my 30 meter blue circle by hovering over them. It's that simple. That's also how Parasaurolophus Lux will spawn, which everyone's going to want. So here's the best way to find it. As you can see, I'm driving along a highway and I just get hidden spawns left, right and centre. I'm getting a ton of them. Basically, what in 10 seconds, I've gotten four. So that's going to be one of the best ways to get it. Um, yeah, there's an another one. And now, we're going to dart Forusora, which was lucky because today, um, because it, it, it's a legendary, it's really helpful to give an estimate amount of how much Parasaurolophus Lux DNA we're going to get. Whilst it doesn't use the exact animation, it's a helpful hint as to what we'll get, which was 169. So I decided to buy VIP, which will hopefully increase my chances even more if I find Parasaurolophus Lux, because we will need 200 DNA. Now here, we got an epic hidden spawn, and this was one of the four epic spawns I got on what, what a t 10 to 20 minute drive. So it's it's not too hard, and they're increasing the spawn rate of it. So hopefully it's much easier to find these creatures next next update. Um, so hopefully this helped you in being able to find Parasolophus Lux. And hopefully it's not too hard to find, even though it, it will be very rare. Hopefully this helps at least a bit. Anyway, now I'm just going to play Jurassic World the game. And... I'm gonna upgrade Parasolophus Lux or Parasolophus Gen 2 to give you the best example of what it will look like. So enjoy the rest of the video. I'm gonna leave it here. Bye everyone.